Hey, what's up guys, Unity Coder here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a jump gravity movement script all in one. It's really simple too. Okay, so what I did was I just made a player script and I attached it to my capsule, and then I just made a plane, and um, the capsule is going to be our player for now. So I just made a plane for him to walk on, and, uh, and kind of a character. Okay, so now what we can do is we can open up our script. Um, I usually open mine in Modern Develop. I'm just trying something new today. I'm trying uh, Notepad++, but what I'm, I'm going to go into here and change my preferences to uh, Modern Develop because Modern Develop um, handles things better. Okay, so what we're going to do is, uh, sorry if you can hear background noise, my big brother's watching a movie. Um, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open it up and we're just going to make a quick, simple script and it's super easy to, it's only like, there's only like four variables involved and the rest is just in the update section, okay? So uh, you can put it in fixed update if you want, um, I'm not too sure if it makes a difference, okay? So what we're going to, we're going to start out by, uh, you don't need the start script for this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to make a private float and we're gonna make speed for our character's movement and let's just set that equal to 10f um, f is for float and we're gonna make private float again we're gonna make three of these private float jump force you can call it jump speed you can call it whatever you want let's just set that equal to 8f and then we're gonna make a private float and this is our gravity so let's just call it gravity and we're gonna set it equal to 30f okay make sure that's an equal sign and then the next thing we're going to do is this is going to be how we move. We're going to make a private vector 3, 3, and we're going to set it equal to vector 3 dot 0 for now. Or let's give it a name first. Uh, we're going to call it move direction, so move dir. It's going to be equal to vector 3 dot zero okay just there that's just when we start when you get into the update section it'll start making more sense okay so now we're gonna make our now we're gonna grab our controller um that's what we need to do we need to go into our capsule and make sure you add a character controller okay so you can go add component and type in character controller and just do that okay so don't don't leave uh, a lot of people like I used to see the character controller and I'm like you know whatever but this is really simple and you'll get it right away okay so let's just say character controller and we're gonna call it control where and we're gonna set it equal to game object dot get component character controller okay and make sure you got these parentheses here because it is a function or a method or whatever you want to call it. And game object, that just means whatever the script is attached to, it's going to do this too. It's going to do any game object that the script is attached to, it's going to do this for. Okay. So now we're going to say if, and in here we're going to say if our controller dot is grounded. So if it's on the ground, what we're going to do is, uh, that is really loud. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but I definitely can. Um, what we're going to do in here is we're going to take our move direction, okay, and we're going to set it equal to a new vector, a new vector 3, and in here we're going to get input dot get axis, and we're going to get the horizontal axis, so left and right on our key, so that's A and D, or I don't know if it works for the left and right arrow, but it might, so horizontal, make sure the H is capital or it's not going to work and make sure you spell it right and then we don't want to go anywhere in the Y we don't want to go up and down so let's just put that for zero and then input and then for Z we're going to put input dot get axis and we're going to get the vertical axis so and make sure these are in quotations vertical uh, uppercase V vertical and so what this does is it's going to take our vector 3 so a vector 3 is a line in space or in our in this case it's force it's a it's a movement in space it's point 
It's two points in space, and the length is called a magnitude, but we're not going to get into that right now. But we set our vector 3 equal to um, movement, uh, equal to a new vector 3, input.getAxis. This means that uh, this is a kind of like a variable here. It, well, it is a variable. So that could be equal to anything. If we only set it to 1, like, it, like if we just set it to 5 or 1, it's only going to do 1 or 5. But since we set it to horizontal, if we press the left, it's going to put one number in. Or if we press the right, it's going to put a different number in. Same for vertical. If we go uh, if we go forward, it's going to put one number in for Z. If we go backwards, it's going to put a different number in for Z. Okay. So I hope I explained that well enough. So now we're going to go move direction. And we are going to set it equal to um, transform dot transform direction. transform direction and we're going to set it to itself so oh, that's not right move direction there we go so this I, I hope this makes sense right so this we're just setting the, this alone will do nothing right so in here we got to make we got to make a direction it's going to make uh, we're going to set the moving direction equal to a transform direction and our transform is um, uh, it's the rotation scale I, I think yeah it's the rotation scale and translation of an object so we're getting a direction for the transform and our direction is going to be ourselves the move direction and so now we got to get our move direction and right now it's not really going to work it might have a default value but we got to have a speed to it right and that's where our speed comes in so move direction is going to times equal speed okay so it's just going to multiply it by our 10f and that's just going to make it go 10 units um I'm, I'm pretty sure that's 10 units okay and now we're going to get our move direction and now we're going to put in our input for jumping i'm going to say if input dot get button down okay if it is and put this in quotations mark jump in your preferences jump could be any button but default it's the space bar for jump okay so let's in here we're going to say move direction and we're going to set it equal to jump force now when I was seeing this I was kind of unsure because I thought it should be move direction is times equal to jump force but it's not and this is move direction dot y by the way okay because you'll see why in a second because it's always multiplying it and it's always moving it we're going to set it equal to that and it's not going to continuously do it it's only going to do it once so it's going to cause it to jerk upwards and that'll be a jump okay so and outside of here this is our setup so this is our jump we're going to take the y which is up and down and we're going to set it equal to the jump force so whatever this is at that's how high or fast it's going to jump okay and uh, if this makes sense to you, good. If it doesn't, um, comment down below and I'll explain it to you. After this, we're going to come out of our if, our if statement. Um, not, not our jumping one, but just our controller dot is grounded in general. And it ends right here. So we're still in the update section. So continuously, we want to have gravity on our object. So we're going to say move dot y. And we're going to minus equal move direction dot y is going to minus equal gravity and we're going to multiply it by time dot delta time so what this does right um, let me explain it the update section goes as fast as your computer will um, allow it it's it's counting this is ran once every frame so if your computer is going 60 frames per sec per second the update section is going to be called 60 times every second. If it's going 30, it's only going to be called 30 times every second. So that means if we have an object that goes 10, uh, like 10 units every frame or has a speed of 10 for every frame, that means it's going to be going about 600 every frame for someone who's going 60 frames per second. But if it's only called 30 for people who have 30 frames per second, it's only going to go 300. So they're going to be going half their speed. And to fix that, some people might put it in fixed update, but you can always just take our regular time. So this is counts it by seconds. And I'm pretty sure it's seconds, it might be milliseconds. But we're gonna take the actual time 
so it's going to be counting it instead of doing it at 60 frames a second it's going to be consistent speed and we're multiplying it by our um, variable just so we can have a consistent number and, it can, and no matter what computer you're playing it on it's going to fall at a certain at a certain pace the same pace okay and we're going to do the same thing for our movement so let's grab our controller and we're going to say dot move and inside of this we're just going to put move direction and we're going to multiply it by time dot delta time again because we don't want it to be going super fast for other people and slow for others time dot delta time okay so let's save this go into unity make sure your script make sure your movement script attach to your capsule make sure you have a character controller and after that just you know make sure they have a ground to walk on Press play, and you'll see our character falls. We can move around and jump. And uh, if it looks like it's glitching, that's not because the, the screen recorder. It's because right now my computer is being weird. I'm gonna restart it after this. But yeah, so um, that's that's about it, you know. And that's pretty sweet. You can jump and move around. You can uh, if you, I'll do a tutorial for mouse look, and then we can attach that and apply rotation. So we can move around, jump, and look at the same time, and uh, that'll be good. You know, you can make tweaks to this however you want. Set it to any speed. Set gravity. You can uh, make a variable. For, you know, you can take your gravity, uh, make a function that'll change the gravity. So you can maybe set a space scene. You know, set it to zero, or you can set uh, make it have a lot of gravity. Like if you're on Mars, and set it maybe to like a hundred. Okay, and that'll make it fall like that, and they'll you know they won't be able to jump that much and uh, you can just play around with this um, so yeah that's about it you know make sure you got that character controller in there and I'll see you in the next tutorial if you guys like this please like and subscribe so you can be notified check out the games on my channel I'm currently coming out with a new one I can show you that real quick and I am gonna be teaching you how to make something like this in the future but only after I'm done with it and it's not going to be exactly like it. It's just going to be a very small, um, you know, thing. I can get started now and uh, hopefully continue it once I'm done. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye. Oh, wait. I said bye at the wrong time. See you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.